Welcome back. His appeals exhausted. State Representative Ron Reynolds surrendered to Montgomery County authorities and began serving a one year jail sentence for illegally soliciting clients for his personal injury law practice. Now, despite his well publicized troubles, Democrats in District 27 awarded him a primary victory with 61% of the vote, and he is unopposed in November. Reynolds says with time off for good behavior, he hopes to be released by January. Time for the launch of the legislative session. Panel, what's your point? Nianza, what do you think of this? Well, I think that Ron let it go way too far. Every, every lawyer should know that if a client has an issue with you, then you're supposed to try to resolve it informally before it gets too far. But Baratree, there's, and we just joked about it on the stage, there's a whole lot of commercials out there, you know, from very, very prominent lawyers who've been doing this for years, saying, oh, and you know the commercial, I'm not even going to repeat it to give any more business to that lawyer. <laughs> but we need to think about it. One year in jail, <laughs> when you think, right. But 61% of the voters voted to reelect Ron Reynolds. He's going to jail to come off of this charge and going back to work in the legislature. I think that it says a lot about the people that support him. And I feel like the same way we're watching Ron Reynolds' story unfold is the same way we're watching Donald Trump's story unfold. People that will see him do wrong will still support him. Bob Price, what does it say about the people who support him? Well, it's kind of a sad commentary, but you know, the, yeah. if, the, if the Democrats in that district wanted to nominate him and the Republicans couldn't field an opponent to run against a man they knew was going to be convicted of a crime, <laughs> Uh, then I guess the people there get what they deserve. You know, in, in San Antonio, you have a similar case where Carlos Uresti is facing severe time in federal prison uh, for, for crimes, and other Democrats at the State House are in some trouble as well. So, but the voters keep sending them back. So, we're going to have to leave it right there. When we return, she's the highly regarded Democrat looking to knock out John Culberson from the United States Congress. In a race drawing national attention, Lizzie Fletcher makes the case for change on our hot seat after the break. <laughs>